we're out here today to share the gospel with people to let you know that there is a plan for your life that you're not an accident that there's a God in heaven who sees you who cares for you who has called you and who can cleanse you and the gospel message has not changed because God has not changed his love for you has not changed and his power to save has not changed and that's why Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life nobody comes to the Father but through me and I think it's tragic that sometimes people walk by and they get mad when they hear good news but it is good news to know that you're loved it is good news to know that you're not an accident it's good news to know that no matter where life may find you there's a God who sees you and who cares about you and even if nobody else cares about you the Lord does Jesus loves you it's not a cliche it's a fact it's a fact that you are loved by God and God demonstrated his love the Bible says God demonstrates his own love for us in that while we were still sinners Jesus Christ died for us you see Jesus died for you because he loves you Jesus died for you because he paid the price for your sins at the cross the Bible says the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing but to us who are being saved it is the power of God and that is why I look at the cross and I'm reminded that I matter. I look at the cross and I'm reminded that there is a reason to my existence. I look at the cross and I'm reminded that there is a God who cares about me and who is willing to pay the price for my eternal soul. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And that is the good news of the gospel, is the price was paid 2,000 years ago at the cross of Calvary. Christ shed His blood to purchase our soul. And this is why, if you will but call on His name, you can be saved. If you will call on His name, the Bible says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's why I got to preach the gospel with a smile on my face because it's good news it's good news to know that you are loved it is good news to know that there is a God who sees you and who cares about you and who knows you intimately fact is every person walking down this street has a different fingerprint and that is the signature of God on your eternal souls do you know the Bible says that we are his workmanship another version of the Bible says we are his masterpiece did you know that you are a masterpiece of God's grace God in his grace demonstrated his love by sending his son Jesus to die on the cross to save you from your sins you see the Bible says all of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory that means we are all sinners in desperate need of a Savior but this is why Jesus came the Bible says for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost and today as you walk by you are saved or you are lost you're on your way to heaven or you're on your way to hell have you taken a moment to contemplate eternity have you taken a moment to ask yourself the question where will I go when I die because statistically it's proven 10 out of 10 people die that being so your death being unavoidable have you taken a moment to ask yourself where will I go when I die because the ultimate questions of life are answered through the gospel of Jesus Christ because Jesus shed his blood to purchase you from death and damnation you see the Bible says God has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the son of his love and this is the reality right now you are a member of the kingdom of darkness or you're a member of the kingdom of light well how can you go from one to the other all you got to do is call on the name of Jesus his name is mighty to save 
He shed His blood to cleanse you from sin. And this is why the Bible says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father but through me. Jesus is the way to heaven. He is the way to forgiveness. He is the way to deliverance. He is the way to cleansing. He is the way to new life. Glory to God. The gospel is good news. Jesus Christ is alive. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Have you surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ? Do so while there is still time because the sand is passing through the hourglass of your life. None of us are here forever. The Bible says, teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Did you know that your days are numbered? Even if you live to a hundred years old, the time will come when you take your final breath. The time will come when you lay down your head for the last time. The time will come when you close your eyes for the last time and you will not open them again. And this is why, again, the Bible says, Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Glory to Jesus. I want to ask you today, are you saved? Are you saved? Do you have peace with God? Because the Bible says, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You cannot have peace until you have Christ, the Prince of Peace, in your heart. He is the way to peace. He is the way to forgiveness. He is the way to life. The Bible says that Satan comes to rob, to kill, to destroy. But I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Have you received the everlasting life that Jesus Christ offers to all mankind? Everlasting life. That is life that never ends. Glory to God. This is the beauty of the gospel. Hallelujah. Because your earthly life will come to an end. That is absolutely assured. 10 out of 10 people die. 100% statistically proven. You will die. That being so, if you cannot avoid death, then you must look to the answer to death. You must look to the one who conquered death, hell and the grave. Jesus rose from the death and he said, I am he who was dead and behold, I'm alive forevermore and I have the keys of hell and death. Glory to Jesus. He is the way to freedom. He is the way to forgiveness. He is the way to everlasting life. That's why I'm not ashamed to proclaim the everlasting gospel of Jesus Christ because I know it is the only message that can save your eternal soul. There is no philosophy. There is no ideology. There is no religious leader or politician that can save your soul. Only Jesus Christ can save. And He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Have you called on the name of Jesus? Have you repented of your sins? Have you put your faith in the one who carries the holes in His hands and His feet as everlasting testament to the price that He paid for your eternal soul? Jesus said, what does a prophet a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Did you know that you have an eternal soul? And that you will spend eternity somewhere. And so I just want to ask you today. Have you called on the name of Jesus? Have you been washed in his blood? Have you been born again? Have you been redeemed? Let the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Glory to Jesus. He can make all things new. He declared that in the last book of the Bible. Behold, I make all things new. You might have made a mess of your life. But Jesus Christ can give you a new beginning. He can give you freedom. He can give you a new life. Glory to God. And that is why the Bible says that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Glory to Jesus. Right now, as you stand, you are saved or you are lost. You might say, I have my religion. Your religion can't save you. You might say, I'm a good person. Your goodness can't save you. You must call on the name of Jesus. Glory to God. That is why Jesus said you must be born again. Have you been born again? Have you received Christ as Lord of your life? Has He made you new? Hallelujah. Because the Bible says that whom the Son sets free is free indeed. He
He can set you free from that addiction. He can set you free from that dysfunction. He can set you free from that abuse. He can set you free from that depression. He can set you free from that obsession. Glory to God because Jesus said you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And the truth is this. Jesus Christ is the way. He said I am the way, the truth and the life. Nobody comes to the Father but through me. There's one way to heaven. There's one way to forgiveness. There's one way to deliverance. There's one way to freedom. And it is true faith in Jesus Christ. Nobody loves you like Jesus. Today as you walk by, you might have all sorts of issues, all sorts of dysfunction. You might have failed in all sorts of ways. But let me tell you something. Nobody loves you like Jesus. Nobody loves you like Jesus. Because Jesus Christ alone was willing to hang naked before a world that mocked him. And even as he hung there, he cried out, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they do. Glory to God, you can be forgiven and you can be free if you will just call on the name of Jesus. The Bible says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the name of Jesus is the name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. We are out here today for one reason, and that is to lift up the name of Jesus. Because Jesus Christ is Lord.